James Clerk Maxwell, best known for his Maxwell's equations, is reputed to have set things straight with his theories of electrical properties in a way that eliminates zero-point energy. But Maxwell's more advanced work allowed for the existence of an ether, a substance finer than air, which since the time of Plato had been considered a scientific fact. Most of our scientific community actually believes that empty space, the nature of, of, of space itself, is completely empty, devoid of anything. And historically, it's very interesting because in the 1800s and even earlier, they believed there was an ether, an all-pervading substance filling up space. And in 1905, when relativity theory became very popular, they said, well, we don't need this ether. It's comp uh, empty space is empty. Then 25 years or 20 years later, 1925, when quantum mechanics comes into play, all of a sudden, a new energy appears in equations of quantum mechanics, and it has to be there to make the equations work, and it has to, it has to do with fluctuations of electromagnetic field energy at a very high frequency that interacts with everything. And they call this the zero-point energy, and it turns out that all the elementary particles interact with this energy, and it becomes a potential energy source. That's what we're discovering today. Well, free energy is basically, uh, and another word for it is zero-point energy. It's energy that is contained within the vacuum of space and which is virtually undetectable by any traditional means. In fact, uh, the, the energy is uh, homogeneous and isotropic, the same everywhere, the same in all directions. And because of that, it's uh, trying to extract it or measure it is sort of like the problem of trying to weigh a beaker of water underneath the surface of the ocean. Uh, what do you measure with respect to what? And that's been the physicist's dilemma, and we've gone down uh, one very large cul-de-sac this century. Uh, the cul-de-sac mean that there is no such thing as consciousness. There is no such thing as this zero-point field, or this, this place from which the energy can come. And uh, the answer now appears to be yes, because uh, theoretical physics and a number of experiments and quantum mechanics show very clearly the existence of this, this all-pervasive electromagnetic field called the zero-point field. In fact, although skeptics often point to Einstein's theory of relativity, it was Einstein who in 1920 said, There are weighty arguments to be adduced in favor of the ether hypothesis. To deny the ether is ultimately to assume that empty space has no physical qualities whatsoever. The fundamental facts of mechanics do not harmonize with this view. According to the general theory of relativity, space is endowed with physical qualities. In this sense, therefore, there exists an ether. According to the general theory of relativity, space without ether is unthinkable. 